Over the month of October 2021, the Frosty Drew Observatory replaced its 21-year-old Mead LX216 inch Schmidt Cassegrain telescope with a new plane wave CDK600, which includes a 24 inch optical tube assembly and the L600 mount. This is a time lapse of the entire project from removal of the initial telescope to the completion of the install of the new plane wave CDK600. I'm Scott McNeil, and this is a Frosty Drew Light Minute. The first step of the replacement process required removal of the existing Frosty Drew Observatory telescope, a Mead 16-inch LX200 Schmidt Cassegrain telescope, which has been in the observatory for the last 21 years. Removal of the telescope had to be done in stages with the optical tube assembly first, followed by the fork, and then the mount base. Once the mount base was removed, we were able to evaluate the existing Mead pier and decided that we did not have the correct specifications on the pier to accommodate the plane wave CDK600. Though the pier was much heavier than we expected it to be, we were able to remove it successfully. Once the pier that was accommodating the Mead telescope was removed, it became clear that the original pier, which held the Astrophysics 7-inch refracting telescope, which was the first telescope in the Frosty Drew Observatory, that pier was still in partially in place, and due to the small openings and cabling requirements of the CDK600 pier, or the plane wave pier, we needed to remove the old telescope pier from the pier foundation. We discovered that the original steel column was inserted into the wet foundation cement with the bottom open. The cement inside was higher than the outside surrounding plain foundation and that required us to jackhammer and remove the cement from inside the steel column and then cut the rest of the pure column out and machine the pure column down to a plain level surface. The cement of the original pier foundation was also not fully level and required additional grinding as well. Frosty Drew Observatory team members Mike and Derek worked diligently to get the pier foundation and the old pier column as level as possible. You see Derek holding a cardboard box and the point of this was to prevent metal shards from flying all over the observatory during the grinding process. Once completed, the pier and the metal column were perfectly level and ready to accept the plane wave pier. The final step of this process required the filing of all machined edges to remove burrs or possible sharp areas that could damage the plane wave cables. We also had to paint those edges to prevent rust from setting in. Once the pier foundation had been properly upgraded and prepared for acceptance of the plane wave pier, we began to install the pier itself. Installation of the pier required precise leveling alignment with the foundation, as well as alignment with the cardinal points of our location. Anchors were inserted 10 inches into the original pure foundation, then left to cure overnight with a high strength bonding epoxy. The pier install occurred the night before the plane wave installation was to take place and Frosty Drew team members stayed over on site that night in preparations 
for the morning delivery of the new plane wave telescope. On Saturday, October 23rd, the new plane wave CDK 600 telescope arrived at the observatory at 7 o'clock a.m. First, we lowered the L600 mount into the observatory via crane and slowly attached it to the plane wave pier. Once attached, post installation steps were required, which included switching the declination access limiter to the altazimuth position and then installing the saddle to accept the plane wave CDK24 optical tube assembly. Once we were satisfied that the L600 mount was ready to go, we began disassembling, balancing, and lowering the CDK24 into the dome via the crane. Attaching the CDK24 to the L600 saddle was the most difficult step of the day. It required very precise balancing and attachment of the CDK24 in the L600 saddle, and we ran into a few hangups along the way. Though the hangups that we experienced were not outside of our reasonable expectations for the day, Ferocity Drew team members Derek, Mike, Scott, Jessica, and Greg all assisted in performing the balance and attachment of the CDK24, while Frosty Drew team member James videographed the entire event. This concluded the installation steps of the Plane Wave CDK 600.